We're in a city in crisis. There was another town hall to talk about a campus police force at Johns Hopkins. This one also met with more protests. Now, this second protest comes a week after the first meeting was met with similar protests. And Fox 45's Jeff Abel was there for both discussions. He joins us right now with more. Jeff? Well, Kai, there was far more disruption than discussion tonight. In fact, depending on how you attended, after 30 minutes, many people had headed right back home. For the second time, the university opened its doors for a town hall meeting. But not everyone in town was interested in meeting. Excited to talk to you today. Johns Hopkins administrators were prepared to answer questions about plans to form a police department, a dedicated armed police force to tackle crime that's creeping into the Baltimore campuses. We're impacted by assaults, we're impacted by robberies and even murders here on our East Baltimore campus. I have individuals who come here to work uh, who are afraid to come from the parking garage into the building. There's already incidences of university police going beyond their reach. I know people personally have been discriminated and introducing guns into that equation is not a good idea. But just like a similar meeting last week, protesters turned up the volume again tonight. Even shielding the big screen projector where no one could view administrators who were addressing the crowd. I'm not going to say they're crazy. They've been misguided. I respect their, their ability to protest and make their noise and, and, and do what they did. But let everybody else come out and have a voice at a, at a town hall meeting. Have you been interfering in that respect? That's understandable, but there's way more residents who don't want the police. After 30 minutes, the university shut down its auditorium, allowing the meeting to continue online. Many residents who came here for an education went home with a new round of frustration. They're not shutting nobody down. They're not shutting John Hopkins down. Because when people really see what's really going on, they're going to want to be safe. They're not safe. There will be one more town hall scheduled for tomorrow night. This one will be all virtual all the time. We are live at Hopkins tonight. Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News.